this is gate 2021 paper it says for the production function given root kl so we are given a production function root of kl and prices of capital and labor are given it says find the value of k and l that will minimize the cost of producing two units of output so the aim is to minimize the cost so let's start by writing a cost function so cost function is written by w l plus r k w is the wage rate the wage rate can also be defined as the cost of labor so you should remember this that w represents the wage rate and the wage rate is nothing but it is the price of labor so the price of labor is 2 and similarly r is the rental Rental is nothing but the price of capital. So the price of capital is 4. So my cost function can be written as 2L plus 4K. Subject to the production function. So I want to minimize this subject to what is my production function? Root KL. And I want to produce a given level of output. And what is the output that I want to produce? I want to produce two units of output. That is what my aim is. So subject to root KL is equal to 2. Now there are again two approaches to take this. Either, as we have seen this, you form a Lagrange. So you can say to minimize 2L plus 4K plus lambda 2 minus root KL. Or you simply use the cost minimization condition. Both will give you the same result. So cost minimization condition. And this is given by MPL by MPK is equal to W by R. In other words, MRTS LK or KL because here I'm taking K below, KL is equal to W by R. This is my cost minimization condition. So I want to find marginal product of labor now. So my production function is root KL. Marginal product of labor is given by what? How output changes when capital changes. So this will be differentiate this function with respect to K. And you will get 1 by 2 root k into root l. Very simple, right? You can write this as root k into root l. Root l is a constant. I am doing a partial derivative only with respect to k. And I am getting this. Similarly, when you go ahead and you find MPL, this will be how output changes when labor changes. So you will differentiate this with respect to labor. So you will get 1 by 2 root L into root K. Now from here, I can find MRTS. So MRTS will be MPL by MPK. This will be 1 by 2 root L into root K upon 1 by 2 root K into root L. So if I solve this, what will I get? I will get K by L. 
and I have to equate this equal to W by R. And I know W is 2 and R is 4. So which means 2 by 4. So what will I get? I will get K by L is equal to 1 by 2, which means 2K is equal to L. So by using the cost minimization condition, by putting MRTS equal to W by R, I have got this condition finally, that 2K is equal to L. Now it is already given to me that I want to produce two units of output. So my production function is given to me as root KL is equal to two. Instead of L, I can write 2K only. So I would get K into 2K under root is equal to 2. I can square on both sides. So I will get 2K square is equal to 4. So I will get K square is equal to 2. So I will get K is equal to root 2. And what is L? L is 2 times of K. So 2 root 2. So I will get my K as root 2. And I will get my L as 2 root 2. Simple. You would have got exactly the same thing if you would have done this through Lagrange. Lagrange is doing the two things together simultaneously. When you minimize the Lagrange, you are optimizing also and you're taking care of this condition also. If you don't want to follow that, follow this cost minimization condition. MRTS is equal to W by R. Get a condition in place and put it back in the production function and get the value of K and L. These are very, very common questions. Every year, these questions will come. So you have to practice these. So it will be root 2, comma 2 root 2. Let's go to the next question. So this is going to be my answer C. Root 2, 2 root 2. Let's go to the next question.